the Movie Geek and on tonight's Halloween countdown, 31 films in 31 days, we watched Insidious. I went into this film tonight not really remembering much about it. Again, it's odd, but we watched it and then it started coming back to me and I was like, oh, there's a jump scare coming. Now, I've mentioned this before, I jump at the most obvious jump scares and I jumped last night. Last night, I'm saying last night. We watched it last night, we didn't get to record it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're recording it tonight. I suppose that don't mean anything to you. But anyway, I was jumping ridiculously. I think it was either because I was really tired and I was just on edge, but it was, wasn't it? It was like people walking past the window and then being in the house. I proper flew. It was quite comical to watch and um, you me? are you are jumpy i thought she's talking about me um, not the film yeah no you <laughs> not the film um, and at one point he had the baby in his hand um, and it's where the guys in the baby's room funnily enough oh behind the and he tried thing. to yeah. get away from the tv because he sat near as the tv what? and he was throwing himself towards me with the baby in his arm. i was holding the baby though i didn't like i was a bit like what are you doing it's not that scary but i was um, proper on edge I could I I couldn't remember Insidious very much. I can remember little bits about it, like when she walks through the house and the boy stood in the corner and she doesn't notice him. Yeah. And she goes back through, he's not there, and it's like. Oh. Yeah, and then he's it, dancing in front of the really, record player. Yeah, there was parts of it. I can remember watching it at first. And I was thinking, this is a fantastic horror film. This is really good. It's really scary. Yeah. And then. Darth Maul appears. Yes, the demon. And I just lost it. I just thought. <laughs> That's a good look for that one. Ruined. <laughs> a perfectly good horror film. Yeah. With a Star Wars villain, pretty much. It was, it was yeah, it was a Star Wars villain. Um, I really like. Not played oh, by that his name's Escapes me. Patrick Wilson. Patrick Wilson. I really rate him as an actor. I really yeah. like him. Now, before we set this up and started going, we were like, what did we watch last night? <laughs> I said and she said The Conjuring, and it's because of him, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, because yeah, he's in The Conjuring, which is also a scary yeah. film. Which I, I like the concept of the film, the fact that you, that they go into the further... It's slightly like different, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. an astral, it's your astral being, isn't it? You know what it's like? It's, it's, it's poltergeist, Yeah. but from both ends. I know they did this in the remake of Poltergeist, where you see the other side, but... It is Poltergeist. That is all this yeah, it's is. it's just a different ether, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's yeah, it's just but just the same. It totally. It didn't ruin the film. Darth Maul. Yeah, but Darth Maul's appearance. I'll just call him that for the sake of it. Whatever the demon he was meant to be. Um, I don't know. It, it just. I like. Um, it was silly in that he was making friggin' toys or whatever the, the hell he was doing. I just didn't like it. Oh yeah, he if does stuff, doesn't he? Yeah, and he had like Freddy Krueger nails. Yeah, stuff. yeah, that, yeah, because he, he sharpens them as well. Yeah, and it was just like, mm, if they'd have stuck with the, the black the lady, the black veil, and oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. Was, she was quite creepy actually, and if they'd have kept her and done it, because obviously the father is played by Patrick Wilson, he'd been through it all, oh, he totally yeah. blocked it out, and that's how the psychic knew him and his mum knew who to go to. And the pictures. Yeah, and the pictures. That was interesting. They should have explored that more because that was interesting and it would have been good if they'd brought her Do you remember the going sequel? after the son. No. Oh, I won't spoil it then. Um, oh, but yeah, it was. Maybe. It started off really, really good. Really, I was really hopeful. Um, <laughs> and no, it, it gets three quarters of the way through and that was it for me. It's when, when he appears behind... Patrick Wilson, it's like you just see half of his face is behind him. Yeah. The jump scare. But there's the, a lot of jump scares, yeah. which I, I'd like some jump scares, but some films go a bit too far. I don't know whether it's because I was watching it with this thing that was crawling up the wall. <laughs> that's that's proper on edge, um, I don't know why. It was why. just a bit too much. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it, not a bad film, a, not a great film. It has a good first half, doesn't yeah, it? it does. It's like 
because it's all ghosts and and yeah it's fairly creepy isn't it it's a creepy film. i think I... And you actually don't like patrick wilson's character because he's very weak and he doesn't want to go home yeah and... well he sleeps he's... doesn't he yeah and you're just a bit like you're a bit of an ass yeah um, and you feel sorry for her because she's got all the kids she's doing she's everything right she, yeah. And, yeah it's it's not a bad film I, I, if I, you I, haven't I, seen it i would watch it it's not one it, it's not one that i would just say absolutely do not watch i think i said to you didn't i i was like when I was jumping, I was like, I'm jumping at these jump scares. And it's everything that we've said is rubbish with yeah, horror films. And you don't want you, you're to. actually seeing things. Yeah. Whereas we've said, like, The Haunting and, and other films. Yeah, but remember. you were really, for whatever reason, you were on edge last night. You were all over the place where it didn't really scare me at all. Probably once, I think, I jumped and I think that was probably Probably you. me. Yeah, <laughs> me but it's not, it's not a bad film. I'm going to give it... C plus. I'll probably give it a B minus too. Yeah. Yeah. Not, so B not, minus. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. I probably won't go back. No, I wouldn't. Watch um, it again, we'll no. probably do the sequel in the future. Yeah. But there's a new sequel coming out as well, isn't there? There's a third. Uh, it's following the psychic. Right. She does she not die? Though? She dies in spoiler, yeah. Spoiler. She dies at the end of this film. Mm. Well, no, I've got spoilers on film. Well, yeah, because I think they did. They did a sequel, and then they did a prequel. I want to do Dead End with with the actress. Shay, Shay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Never it's seen it's Dead really End. Good, funny. It's a funny film, but it's, it's quite yeah, it's a good. One. But we I'm, can't get it. We tried to stream it, haven't we? <laughs> I'm coming to the conclusion that I'm the wuss and that I haven't seen many many scary films. It's amazing for some reason. How many he's not seen? It's, it's weird. Bizarre. And he lived in a country shell. No, but I saw stuff like Terminator when I was. You haven't seen Terminator. Yes, but when when I was like seven or eight. It's such a time. Total Recall. I even wrote about it in my school book, and my mum was called in. Tangent. 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 It's an so, interesting story. I I drew the bit where where Richter falls from the the lift, and I drew a picture of Arnold Schwarzenegger holding his bloody arms, saying, "Meet you at the party, Richter." I'll see you at the party right now. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, we'll uh, we'll be doing another one, won't we, tonight? Mm -hmm. And then we're up to date because tomorrow I'm on the Raz. With the lads. With the lads. I'm a stag dude. I'm a stag dude. Yes. So it should be good. So I'll try and get one on tonight for tomorrow and then we're up to date because I missed last Saturday as well. Or oh, something, I don't know. Anyway, keep watching. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye.